purposes other than ASMR and uh, the key notes to be lower, you feel. Anyway, today I wanted to show you the things that I picked up at the Sephora sale. Uh, 
lip liner and it is not just a lip liner it is also it can also be used as an eyeliner and I was really trying to find the perfect like lip liner eyeliner combo like same pencil uh, and I thought that this was it but it was pretty pricey and um, then because I was feeling a little I, I tried it on my lips and my eyes it was pretty on my eyes um, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted it was very light and on my lips it was a little it was just like a little too warm toned um, and I did that while I was out and about and then when I got home I was suddenly having the wondering of like is this a dupe for another NYX lip liner that I had I thought it looked a lot like softly spoken softly spoken nope soft spoken or softly spoken I can't remember it's the NYX suede I think actually I'm in the process of like organizing all my makeup right now and like cleaning out my um little makeup drawers and so all my makeup is sitting in a big box like right there um but I realized rummaging through that would be chaos so that's not what we're gonna do um but yeah so this to me looked almost identical if not identical to um Nick's soft spoken lip liner it's the one that um Maddie that Matt's ASMR uh, has talked about forever. Like, it was one of the first products that I remember her talking about, and I remember getting it and just being like, oh yeah, this is worth the hype. She has hyped it up adequately. But obviously, that's from NYX, and so it's like at most $10, you know? Like, it's very, very reasonable, and it's a great lip liner. And this was probably like 20 some bucks, 24, 25, I think it was 24 or 22, um, but to me it just not worth, um, I'll show you right here, uh, that is the shade, that is the color, let's see, can I, you can see, it's pretty for sure, it's a very pretty, but because I have something in the same up. So I ended up returning. 
and got the full size because that powder. Oh my god. It's so pretty. I also, okay, so as you may know, I've discussed this before, that I am so stumped by my color season, my color season, um, and like, I'm not invested in it enough yet that I would like to go and get my colors done, like, professionally, um, Another eyeshadow palette. 
I've just been, I've been, I've been so curious about fucking around with cooler colors. I feel like I, I lean towards warmer colors just because, um, also growing up doing my makeup during like the 20, you know, like 12, 2012, 2013, like everyone and their mother was doing, oh, this bang is really driving me up the wall. Everyone and their mother was doing like a, a, a bronzy, smoky eye, you know, and like, and, and I just, there's a, there's a part of me that cannot remove like a, a gold bronze smoky eye from my repertoire of makeup looks, you know. I'm a little peeved though that this palette is a little, like, it's not broken, but I just, there's like fallout already on the palette. Do you see that? It didn't even get shipped, like, I picked it up at the store. Anyway, but I'm really excited about this, like, gray shade right there. I think that's gonna be so pretty. Anyway, I think it's a good mix of, like, cool and warm shades. I'm stoked on it. Now I'm actually kind of curious if that's the one. If it's the one that I chose. I don't think they'd get it wrong. It's just a bit warmer than I was anticipating. We'll have to look. Okay. Um, next. Here we go. Okay, I'll get out the makeup for everything now. This is... I'm so excited about this. Okay, so first of all, my favorite foundation ever, 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 ever is the Makeup Forever HD Skin. Um, when Sephora had that thing where they would hold it up to your skin and it would take a picture and like tell you your undertone and like whatever that was, skin ID, skin IQ, whatever, um, I went and they chose a Makeup Forever, the HD Skin one. Um, in one R, one, two, I think. And I have bought two bottles of it in the time since, which to be real is like 13 years, but you know what? We don't need to worry about that. We don't need to worry about that. No, that can't be right. I wasn't 14 when I got it. No, I was like, okay, it's still like nine years. Whatever, two bottles in nine years. I don't wear, I don't wear a lot of foundation. I, yeah. But it is my favorite foundation. It's so thin. It's so light. But the coverage is chef's kiss. And, um, I don't know. I just think it always looks really pretty. Um, and so this is the HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. So it's, um, and this is in the lighter shade. Light to medium. And so this is a cream.
Like it instantly made my teeth look whiter. <laughs> 